hello and welcome to the park. Now I didn't have a go of playing this yesterday, as soon as it came out on my stream, I got raided and I missed a whole section of it. And it was a little bit crazy and mental and it kind of ruined all the footage that I was going to put on YouTube, so I'll have a go again uh, of the game. Plus I missed some achievements and stuff on the way. But it scared me and no doubt it's going to scare me again. Yeah. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Stay in the car. I'll go and ask information. So, let's go over to information. Attention, patrons. The park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. He's a very slow walker. Before you need to prepare the park for shutdown. Callum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. A tribute to the untamed heart of Solomon Island and the people who use their talents to bring the dream of Nathaniel Winter to life. May this park be a place where joy and laughter are gathered and used to infect all those who follow after. What? Oh dear. all the time. Take a deep breath. Think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! Uh-oh, he's ran into the park. He's ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. See, why would they do that if they wouldn't? I can't use Stuart somewhere similar. And you'd go with the mother and get the kid out. Wait up there for mommy, Callum. There's just some things where I can eat and stuff. Up the escalator we go. There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. Attention employees, the park is now closed. Have See, a safe journey home. That's why, why does it plunge into like such sudden darkness? I think it's maybe like a metaphor for her mind. Dark in oh here. God. Park. What happened here? Okay, so we are here. next to side show, Ali. Uh, Callum, come back here right now. You can't catch me. I can see you, little brat. Come back. Get here. Get here, you little brat. Kid has no discipline whatsoever. Wait, Callum. Callum, you little brat. She can't run for very long. She's very out of shape. There we go, she can run again. About time, unhealthy. Ch -ch 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 chipmunk. Oh. I think this belongs to Kelm. Silly kid. She had the chipmunk, huh? Worst in class, seem to pass. Amy likes to fight, beaten every night. Have a dead end job or die a useless slob. Ooh, yay. Got lots going for him. Toilet. Um, no. 
Where did you go? What's this? This way. Purchase land or solemn I island for pittance i might add whatever old archie henderson did to the locals just the mention of his name and people slamming doors and locking shutters from the moment i arrived on the island my lawyers had arranged everything in advance but the realtor still had to come and deliver the keys to me personally he took it upon himself to offer me another warning i don't know what you're planning to do with this land mr winter but the soil here is bitter with a curse carried from the old country old man henderson he did terrible dark things the land remembers sir I dismissed him shortly afterwards, mostly amused by his pathetic attempts at warning me off. I have a great vision for this place, and the will to see that vision through to the very end. Atlantic Island Park. The name is perfect, and I cannot imagine it being anything else. This is the start of something amazing. Callum? Where'd you go? Over here. Wait, Callum? This way, Mommy. Callum, stay where you are. Come back, Callum. Come on, mommy. I'm waiting for the boat, love. Wait, why don't I call you love? You're a horrible child. Hello? Hello? I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. Looking at me, girls. Why is that unsunken? Oh. Quite a nice, pretty game, really. Some ripped jeans and my boots with the fur. Well, they haven't got fur on, but you know. We are sailing. We are sailing. Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. So what? What will bite or become sup? of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow oh, and crap. abandon them there. Don't do that. No, my wife. I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all fall starve. No shivers still. Ugh. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother I don't really understand them a slice this ride. Right. And warns them Why would you be on a swan no watching more this? Food that day. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents, you bad boy the and girl. The children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones. That was a bit silly. Don't the sneak door out. Was locked. Tomorrow yeah. I will take them into the woods myself. The wife told the woodcutter. <sighs> In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Get the shivers. Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. The hungry bird snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Abandoned by the Doesn't make me feel any better second time round. The trail home. The children wandered in the forest for three days. Ugh. 